head of the Union of Reserve and Retired Officers, Yashar Jafarli, gave a news conference today at IRFS in which he talked about the physical violence committed against him this April. According to Jafarli, he was attacked by two men on April 2nd near his home. One of them was caught with the help of the people who were near the scene and handed over to the police. The other one escaped. Jafarli considers this assault to be Defense Ministry's retaliation for his organization's protection of servicemen's rights and civilian control of the military. He believes the two men who attacked him were employees of the intelligence office of the ministry. As such, Elhan Hussein of the Code on Scene is an employee of the state agency. Jafarli claims that the second man who was caught on surveillance cameras is also an employee of this agency. Jafarli said his appeal against the military tribunal decision on the issue will be considered by the appellate court on August 29th as the military court refused to accept his lawsuit for consideration despite of the availability of evidence. He then spoke about unfair investigation of the case by the military prosecutor's office of Baku. Jafarli's lawyer Avaz Tamir Khan also accused the prosecutor's office for unfairness. One of the assailants, Elhan Seynov, who had been caught and surrendered to the police, was released despite having a knife. This was not investigated by the prosecutor's office. Also, the prosecutor's office failed to investigate the surveillance camera recordings to identify the second assailant, said the lawyer.